once when the computer is booting, your system is booting, it will look into this directory for all the booted files. RS033, Red Hat Linux Essentials. Then we have Etsy directory, very important directory. The etc. directory holds almost all of the system and program configuration files. So, configuration files you mean if you install an application or there are programs which are already a part of the operating system. All of the configuration, how they are, how they are supposed to behave, or if you make some changes, or for example, I made changes to the terminal here. I turned it black and white. I don't know. I mean, I was supposed, I was putting Angelina Jolie's background picture there and everything. So, uh, the, all that configuration file is stored here. I mean, such configuration files. So, example. Okay, sysconfig. Uh, is a system configuration files source all the system configuration files and let's look into that cd dot dot to go to the root directory then I will say cd slash press the directory at c I'm going to do ls so we have lot here I'm going to do I'm going to say file This config that's a directory, okay? So I mean I can there are those commands I can use stat. Can I do a stat on this? Yes. If I do start, it's going to give me the statistics of that directory. So anyway, we don't need those commands right now. So that is this config, and we have default uh, that will say user account de defaults. So what is that user account defaults? Let's look into that. I'm going to do ls first on um, default. So and this is user add. So we have all those commands there. So I'm going to go ahead and on. Is that a directory stat default? What is it? Is it a directory or is it a file? It is it. Oh, well, it's a forward slash, so it has to be a directory. I'm going to go inside that and see user add. So, so these are regular files. So. What is what is the default, and what are what are these user defaults? So when you create a user, okay. So what are his credentials? So what are suppose these are templates? This is a template for a user account. When you create a user account, automatically these defaults will be applied to that user account. What is OPT optional software install? So all the configuration files for all the optional softwares that you have installed, uh, they are going to be here, like your VLC player. Uh, your latest uh, open office version or Firefox or Adobe okay, these are uh, these things are going to be here if you want to know here as you can see internet where is office so Adobe Adobe is going to be in that one and have open office latest version 3 so that is going to be there so let's check it out okay LS cd dot dot ok let's see directory opt I'm going to do ls nothing is there ll hmm, so right now nothing is there because I'm not installing any actual software I mean, these Adobe not yes, they are optional softwares, but you might wonder, I mean, why they are not here? Yes, they are not here because there is one more directory, you know, for that. I just, you know, made it, <coughs> made it on the top level root directory itself, so I can just take you there. Again, let's see, dot, dot, again, ls, cd. So here we have. I have 
created in an OPT directory here, an optional directory here on the top level here itself so that now everything will be here okay because this is too important so that is how it is Adobe is here openoffice.org that's the old version which came with the unit and something which I upgraded it later so I've kept both of them just in case so let's go back to our HC directory <coughs> I'm sorry guys I'm not feeling well a little bit what is cups it's not your regular teacups cups is an application now which was supposed to and which is actually meant for Unix so they adopted the same thing for Linux cups and it contains all the configuration files now for printers we will look into that later just do an LL LS or cups so in certain cups we have all these in our draw, all these configuration files uh, those who are from printer background now they know that they they will know what these are actually so an LVM logical volume manager so logical volume means your disk partitions and all, all these stuffs how we have configured them, what partition they are, so everything is going to be here so let's do an ls on LVM so in LVM what we have, we have a, a subdirectory, archive, backup and cache so all those tools for uh, used for archiving, backup and all those configuration files will be here Xynet D.T Internet Services So what are Internet Services? Let's see mm -hmm. Sorry Okay Xynet D Okay, I'm going to do less here <coughs> So all these Internet Services like TFTP Alright So these you know uh, telnet ktalk all these you know internet services are here all these configuration files are here in the signet d dot t right so Over here, let's be a fifth slide. That is okay. Mail, okay. Mail or email services. Let's look into that. Cd dot dot ls ls mail. Oh, okay. Okay. So these are the directories. So whatever that you send mail configuration all your email configuration will be stored here okay I mean of all users the root users uh, root emails user emails so the configurations are uh, stored here when I say etc directory yes it is configuration scale so rc.t system startup and shutdown scripts and configuration files okay so let's see that C.3 and now it contains all the whatever files that are needed for system to start up and shut down the scripts and configuration what is configuration you have various run levels from 0 to 6 we will look into them you now at a later point and when you activate this run level you know what are the configuration what are what services needs to run what are the services that need not run let's say you are troubleshooting and you want only one user to be allowed so you can use that kind of a run level and uh, for example rc6.e just to know it's going to reboot the unit so that is how it is so we're going to look into them later so because this is not the right you know, chapter for it so scale, what are scale? templates for user profiles when you, when you create a user profile, all it's, so as I said earlier, please don't confuse it with you know, user defaults, user account defaults and scale. So we have scale here, this is going to create, uh, this will have, this is going to have a template 
Because this is this act.